Hello everyone, Donut Danny here. I don't normally uh, YouTube NO1800 for various reasons, uh, but I'm in the middle, well in the middle of the uh, the game, the base game. I love a NO1800, I've played it for about three, four years, and I've never got this far in the game, and I've never got this, this well done, if that makes any sense. Uh, so currently, we're in the end of the journey of the main quest and we're just going to have a massive, massive battle between my forces and these guys up here. Um, currently, I'm doing pretty well in the game. I've got over 5 million in the bank. I'm making a healthy profit. This is without any uh, influence, which uh, affects your newspapers and stuff like that, makes you better. So this is the final mission. And I just thought it'd be great to show you the final battle on YouTube and see how it goes. Oops. So basically, um, we've got some really bad guys here. Here they all are. In, uh, there's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of them. Um, all in various disguises and everything like that. You can see they're all quite threatening. Uh, they've just burnt the city down. Uh, if you haven't played any 1800, I must stress first, there is a couple of spoilers here. Uh, so this is well advanced. This is their forces. All these are flamethrowers, would you believe it? And um, amazing graphics. Now, if you try to look in the distance, in the distance, that's my um, capital. I guess you call it, uh, Port Pensington, and all my forces are lining up to go and attack them. Actually, you can just see them in the distance there. There they are. Uh, I haven't got any steamboats or anything like that. I've just got frigates and Ship of the Lions, which are like massive frigates. And I've got about 16, 17 of them coming to attack all these guys in a minute. Um, I'm still building up my fleet. As you can see, some of these boats have had some hits already. But if we move my camera, which you can do along here, which is really good. Look how picturesque this is. There's Port Benton. There is my capital. Uh, I haven't actually gone to the major Crown Falls yet. Um, I'm just basically touch, barely touching that. But here is my boats. And this is what I've got currently. I am still building up a little bit of a fleet here. So we've got the two um, Ship of the Line Ship boats the line here. Reporting in. There they are. So we've got HMS Ireland. These are the big, they're like double, triple frigates. Basically, they've got massive guns and everything like that. Uh, HMS Britain. And then we've got a couple of little frigates here. HMS Cardiff. And these got additional uh, flamethrowers and guns like that. Frigate first class. HMS Liverpool. HMS Sea Lion. HMS Cambridge. I Oh, this one hasn't actually got a name. I'm naming my boats after uh, British cities, by the way. So English and Scottish and Welsh. So that's HMS Dundee. You can rely on us. HMS Swansea. Oh, no one hasn't been named. These are new boats, hence why they're not being named. HMS Belfast. Frigate First Class. HMS Reading. HMS Conqueror. That's a boat I did before I started naming them after cities. <laughs> Ready the ropes. HMS Drake. HMS Edinburgh the second. It's called Edinburgh 2 because HMS Edinburgh 1 got destroyed in the first battle against these guys. Stations. HMS Providence. And HMS Brunei. And we're still um, in the middle of building some more boats. These are my clippers who basically can't really do much. So they're staying safe. It's hard um, to get ships. We and we have some to have friends to help us. Some allies as well. Here's the Queen. I want to be a spearhead, not a figurehead. So this is uh I guess she's Queen Victoria in some ways. Uh and then that's her escort. These guys don't come and uh to battle with us though, so it's just us that's gonna do it. Uh, I'm still building a ship of a line, another ship of a line, and I'm probably going to build another frigate to go with it. Now, we've also got, um, as you've seen before, these two boats came down from my second city, Port Oxford, which um, I try to transport cannons, because this, this little island builds tons of cannons over from Port Oxford down here to, if I show you better, it's actually, there's Port Oxford there to uh, Benson up there, but 
<laughs> all these reds are pirates and uh, the enemy main enemy this is the enemy island here and it did I thought it was going to happen so I did a risk but it did happen uh, my boat full of cannons got completely destroyed on the way to Bensington so I wasn't going to make that mistake again um, so but they have made some ships i might see if i can i can actually build another ship of a line actually uh my money is going down though so i don't want to build too many ships now uh because each ship costs uh influence yeah my influence is down i think we've got enough really there just build a couple more ships so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15 there, plus 2 in reserve down here against uh, 12. So we should easily win this. Famous last words. Um, so we'll see how we get on. We've still got two more boats to build. So another ship of a line, which is equivalent to, say, three or four frigates by itself. So I might send a ship of, ship of lines first. Um, and then see how many they take and if they don't take that many the frigate army will literally come Ship constructed. there we go there's a Join new the one rigging. so this is HMS Scotland oh no actually HMS Wales oh, attracting this bonus nice oh that's what city is that people celebrate your leadership Ooh, that's nice of them so where's the HMS Wales? There it is. I'll put it over with the Scotland and the Britain. No, no, the Scotland. The Ireland and the Britain. Sorry. Sorry, Scotland. <laughs> One more frigate then is going to be made. And then we are going to be sending the four... The three, sorry. Ship of lines to the enemy force down here. There they are. The city completely got destroyed by them. The three... Ship of Lions will be coming to face these. They will probably all get killed off quite quickly. But then I'm sending the... I've got... Remember, I've got this mini reserve army here. Hopefully they won't be needed. And then also we've got the the main force, which is the 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, yeah, about 14. And then another frigate coming, 15 frigates. So a main force of three, 15 frigates going to follow the three. Um... Looking at it, this could possibly be very much overkill for me. But um, I really want to win this battle. Then I can get back into the game and re-establish um, stuff that I lost during the war. Because it did turn into war. It's made the game really interesting, actually. Um, I've got quite a few of the DLCs loaded on this now. Um, I think I'm only missing one or two now. Uh, I've got Sunken Treasures, which was one of the very first DLCs, which I um, only bought very recently. So, let's see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm still just waiting for this frigate to be made. It's halfway through at the moment. I could even make little gunboats if I wanted to. Um, Gunboats actually are very quick to be made, but um, no, we can't really wait for more boats. I think we've got enough. Now, the Queen has got three ship of the lines, but they will not be taking frigate part in the battle. Class. I'm amazing. This trade route here from this frigate, the Waterloo, Waterloo's not going into battle, but it's, it's, it's keeping my uh, money going up a little bit. Yeah, if I look at warships, minus 3,000. Jeez. That's why my money is suffering a little bit. I have to. I might have to sell some of my frigates soon uh, if when they're not needed in the battle. Basically, what's keeping me afloat is my zoo. Um, I'm making a lot of money in the zoo, and as you can see, it's quite big now. And there's the museum there. Um, I don't care how it looks. I just want it to be practical. And there's my uh, morning well, station there. So you can see there, it's making $6,500. So without that $6,500, I would be four grand in debt. And I haven't got much influence points. So luckily the zoo and that are helping very much, keeping me afloat, basically. Ha, huh, pardon the pun, as I'm on water. So we're just waiting for one more frigate to be built. 
and then we're going to head off for this great war and see what happens. Um, when this frigate is being built, then I will, uh, I'll just make sure actually to see if there's anything the frigate can have it to my advantage. I've got quite a lot of these things. These were from the other ships. Uh, no, not really. Um, so I'm just waiting for that frigate to be built. Then what's going to happen is the three ship lines, the Wales, Ireland and the Britain will head off to... Um, Actually, I do not want to lose that medicine because if that Let Britain, if that Britain gets destroyed, I'll lose the ship constructed. There we go. The ship's finished. The mixer. So the ship is ready. So this is going. You got some big ones there. <laughs> hey, HMS Aberdeen. So we're just going to let this ship align. Drop this uh, medic off because I don't want to lose it if it gets destroyed because I'll lose the medic as well. There we go. Move back into the battle and we're going to let battle. Whoops, that's not what I was meant to do. Hi. Battle commence. So one thing I might do actually, let's move it down here. Here are all the boats. See if I can do this. Hi. Yes, I can. Oh, I can't change their appearance, all of them. Oh, that's a shame. Can I do it one by one? Yes, I can. Okay, they're all doing... Yep, they're all good. Ready the ropes. What about you? No, nope, you need to change. There we go. Sails up as well. New orders, Admiral. Yep, you're all changing into one colour. Now, most of you are already changed, actually. As you can see, their cells go up and then back down again. Ready the ropes. By the time of this recording, it was just about a week or just a few days before Aye. Christmas. I, it's funny, I always go back to Anno 18 when I've got time off work. I always play it around Christmas time. Uh, I did, but I haven't played, haven't stuck with it for this long because uh, this game alone is about six, seven hours long now or even longer. Maybe 10 hours or so. New orders. New orders. Um, let's have some different skins on for these ones. Attention I, want, for the Admiral. I want them all to look similar. So, here we go. So, if we turn the camera around, uh, you can see them somewhere in the distance. There's my other little town. Uh, that's Port... What town is that again? I completely forgotten. Sometimes you can, you can lose track of what uh, you got. Oh, that's Saint Os, Os uh, Saint Osgreen. A little quiet town. That's going to be nowhere near the battle. But anyway, if we move our camera down, there they are, right down there. So that's my force against that force there. Um, if you're a betting man, then I would say. We would win this. We should win this. But I'm going to send the through the three shipper lines towards Station. them first, and see how we're getting on. And remember, we've got two of those in backup as well. So let's see what happens. They're going to go after the chief boat here. Fleet, prepare to fire. Yep, they're off. Are they off? Yep. Good luck. The thing, the stat, <laughs> the annoying thing about the shipper lines is they're very slow. The frigates will get there quite quickly after these three. And <laughs> this is about the game. This, for instance, these frigates are going to go right through this line. <laughs> so the frigates are trying to get out of the way. So we're going to follow these three and see what happens. These three might just themselves take all these down. So we are going to speed this up a little bit, because you don't have to... Let's speed it up until we get there. There we go. Back to normal speed and see what happens. We're going to try to keep the screen like this. There we go. One of them's already... That's, they've already seen them. See how long these last. If they don't last very long, the frigates are coming in.
Well, one of them's gone already. See how many we can take before my frigates move in. Look at the frame throws. Like, one of my shipper lines is already gone. Yeah. HMS Britain's gone. They're, they're winning. We, uh, I think we've taken one or two of theirs down. Right, the frigates will have to come. Well, they didn't last very long. How many of those have we taken? One. <laughs> Just one of them. <laughs> right, frigates. Are you ready, guys? Fleet ready. Yeah, it's about 12 of you there. Now, this... This might not go very well for us, but we'll try our best. Enemy target established. Now, what these two don't know is that these two I... will be coming towards them as well. As soon as these ones have engaged. So, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them. And here they come. And those two are now going to attack the rear. Yeah, we're winning this one. Oh. Providence is gone. And I can't do that when I'm busy trying to destroy these guys. Edinburgh 2 is gone. How fast it's gone. Oh, this is going to be tight, actually. Where's those other two? My fleet are getting annihilated. But at least we're getting a lot of those. I know you're damaged. Nearly there. Oh, we've lost another ship, but we've still got three left. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can't do the arsons when I'm in the middle of a pitch battle here. That's sometimes the game forgets that. Look at all this stuff we can pick up. And that's the last ones of theirs. Woo. Old friend, it is over. New orders, Admiral. Look at all this we can pick up, though. So. You did goes far beyond us, dear blood. You have saved us all from a reign of terror. Oh, those two ships just stayed there. Didn't do anything. We are ready for Her Majesty. All the eyes of the world will be upon us. <laughs> I didn't use those two ships. 
And this is the end game, I think. Look at all those subjects. How enthusiastic they seem. Do you think they celebrate me, their royal highness? In a manner of speaking, your majesty. In a manner of speaking. So this guy is going off on trial. Are you absolutely sure this Samuel Good was innocent? No, no, no. Doubt, he, your majesty. he died, Mustn't sorry. Mustn't <laughs> worry. Your attendance at this ceremony is nothing short of sublime. A gesture of the outermost nobility that can heal this tormented place. Let's heal it then, and be off. See? Her majesty is paying her last respects, just as Archie promised. Yes, just look at her. I bet she's already forgotten who we are. My sincerest condolences, children of Samuel, for the loss of the father you loved, and for the tragedy caused by the unfortunate actions of your uncle. From now on, they rest side by side in the family vault. They are at peace now. For your unquestionable loyalty and bravery, you shall be knighted Ooh. and bequeathed the island of Bright Sands. Ah, for Bright Sides is going to forevermore. Ah, Bright Sands is going to be ours. Nice. <laughs> That's just as big as. Me. I always <laughs> laugh at funerals. <laughs> the Bright Sands is the ah, second biggest island. Majesty. It is time we were on our way. She is. The Queen. She's the Queen. So I was going to say, Bright Sands is actually the second biggest. It's the second. It's probably the biggest island Bright in Sands the uh, is returned to us. old world. Father's name is cleared. So that will be all, eldest. Will you and our hunt be leaving? After all we've been through. I will not be fooled, our hunt. I know that we shall one day be parted, but if my prayers be answered, today will not be that day. Dearest sibling, today is not a day for parting. So this is actually the end game, and then you can now, I guess you can now continue. Yep, it's a new achievement for company. So, we have got a lot of rebuilding. <laughs> the campaign has ended. Um, I've never reached the end of the campaign of Anno 1800, so in three, four years. I think you can continue the game, you though. You are the yeah. paradigm. Yes, you can. The Queen is saved. You can rely on us. All thanks to your remarkable travails and hardships. Oh, this is all the stuff that um, the chain. we lost now in the battle. We are really somewhere. I feel sorry for the Perforians. What drives people to be like that? So this ship needs to be repaired. So get it up there. You must have fed off my resilient aura there, driving the we'll give it our best. Perforians away. So that's it. That's the end of well. That is the end of Anno 18. I need to rebuild the fleet. Forward to putting Edvard's head through the noose. Never mind. Coordinates plotted. Ruthless when you had to be. I like that. The world is rid of a great evil. I'm sure I recognize something about that Grandmaster. So all these boats need to be repaired. So out of our army of 17 ships, I and I had has had the island seized. Had three <laughs> left. I can ask, but after that, it is up to you. So this bright sands, I, I think, is mine. Than I was. So I got a massive task there to do. I got as to rebuild you what's already there. bright sands. Typical you to rub it in. Steady, her course. But my board won't let me expand. So we're gonna 
Bryce Sands is going to be my next task. As you can see, my money's jumped right back up again because um, I lost all those ships. <laughs> so I have to start rebuilding my navy because my navy has been heavily battered here. Oh, what are you doing? You need to go back up there. So that's it. That is the end of Anno 1800. And um, I hope you enjoyed the battle there. It was at one stage I was thinking, oh, we might not win this, which is a uh, quite unusual. But we did. We did win it. Uh, all the uh, we lost quite a lot of ships though, and these two coming back from my backups, they basically didn't back up anything. So um, keep her constant. But luckily, I had these two in reserve because um, I did lose. How many ships did I lose? Ten, eleven ships. What ships did we have left, I wonder? Which Ready named ships did we have left? I'm just going to pick these up. Stations. So it's good that I took off uh, some of those uh, extra people that were on my boats because I would have lost a lot of people. So these two were not bought here. Uh, were not made here. So they're coming back up. So these are the four being repaired at the moment. So Ready we've got the left the Reading, the Drake, Conqueror, conquered again, and Dundee. Jeez. So a lot of those ships did die, did get destroyed. So we Her can. Rarely needs guidance. It's, just a, it's a clipper. No, I don't want a clipper. Pull up your braces no, that's a. Thrust. Don't want that one. Buy a ship. ship. Aha. Needs a stick. Attention for the HMS animal. Solo. It's even got HMS as the name. So we've got a new ship of the line there. Um, let's. I think we lost two ship of the line, so we need to build some more. So, an influence bonus. Two more ship of the lines. And one more frigate. Yep, and so that's it. So I'm going to carry on with the game now, rebuilding Bright Sands and uh, trying to regain my. <laughs> foothold in this game because we did lose a lot of ships there all these ships are being fixed there by my repair crane by the way so they're all being uh, redone which is good to see and so yeah i hope you enjoyed that little uh, anno 1800 special uh i'm quite glad now i finished that campaign i can now uh, carry on the game without any kind of interruptions and try to improve my port benson and also go to crown falls which is the big big city in the game Oh, newspaper. Juicy iron, iron acquired, yep. Yeah. Uh, don't need to make any changes there. And, and that is it. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little special. Um, I just bought Anno 1404, which is the game before this. Two games before this. Just have a play of that after I finish this. And, yeah. So, I hope you all have a great festive period. And I'll send another video of my Football Management series. It's coming out on Saturday. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.